Hey guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! Prodigy here and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Marketing. In today's episode, I want to talk about a card and like a key archetype where I briefly went over in my Duelist Alliance set review and that's going to be on the Burning Abyss. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about the marketing of Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. This is the rank 3 Exceed monster. It's a generic rank 3, 1000 attack, 2500 defense. Its effect is kind of like a card trooper where you detach one material, you can choose from one to three cards and send the top cards from your deck to the graveyard, and that he gets 500 attacks for each one sent to the graveyard. And this effect only um, goes on to the end of the turn, and whenever Dante attacks, it switches to defense mode after the battle step. Now, um, when this guy is destroyed, you could return one Burning Abyss monster from your graveyard back to your hand, except for Dante itself. Now, when this card first came out, it was around like a $50 card, or $40 to $50 card, and it's currently gone up to $60. Now, the reason being is that Burning Abyss has been doing really well in the meta right now. It's been topping a lot of tournaments. Uh, there's quite a few ways you could play the deck, and the deck is actually really, really strong. Like, I've played it myself, and it's really powerful in the fact that you could keep recycling your hand. It doesn't seem like it runs out of fuel. And basically, you could play the grind game out, or and you could plus a lot with this deck. Now, Dante itself is all in all a pretty good card. For it's a generic rank three, and then it gets a card trooper effect. Um, it's only really good at in a burning abyss deck because um, the power boost is only decent. You could use other rank threes that are better if you're just purely using it for that effect. But the, the fact that it could Recycle a Burning Abyss guide back to your hand makes it really powerful. Now Burning Abyss itself could go with many decks. I've seen it with Monarchs. Um, I want to try it out with kind of like Chaos. Uh, you can play it just solely Burning Abyss. And Burn it, And I found that Burning Abyss works really well with Dark Roads. Um, because you can send... Because they're both fiends, like the Burning Abyss monsters and the Dark World monsters are both fiends. You get synergy with that. You can use your gates with that. Uh, Dark World Dealings w activates the effects of your Burning Abyss monsters. Um, so a lot of the Dark World cards synergize as well with the Burning Abyss cards. And Tour Guide. Tour Guide is just amazing in the deck. I either in Burning Abyss, or Dark Worlds, and Dark World Burning Abyss. It's Tour Guide is just so amazing because there's so many targets you could bring back. You could bring back Browse to bounce back with your Grafas. Uh, you could summon out your Burning Abyss monsters. Since the effects are negated, you, the uh, downside effect of the Burning Abyss where it's destroyed without another Burning Abyss monster is negated. And you still get the effects once you exceed and detach that material. Uh, you still get the Burning Abyss effects. Now, what I found really powerful with Dark Worlds and Burning Abyss is that Skill Drain is really, can work, can synergize really well with both archetypes. Since uh, Skill Drain only affects the field and Dark Worlds and Burning Abyss, um, their effects go off in the graveyard, you get all the three advantage while you kind of stun out your opponent. So you're probably wondering how you could profit off the anti-traveler of the Burning Abyss. Now unfortunately I don't think you possibly can <coughs> profit unless you already have a bunch of copies that you pulled from packs or get got some really good trades off of. Um, Dante is kind of more of a class specific card like um, if you, if I had a choice between buying a Dante and a Exiton Knight, like a reprinted or the original, I would probably still pick the Exiton Knight because in the long term, the Exiton Knight will still worth more than the Dante. Um, Exiton Knight, the reprint version is around like $35, $40, and even though Dante is $60 right now, um, I'm pretty sure it will get reprinted in the future since it is such a popular card. It is a secret rare, so. Um, the fact that it's popular and secret rare gives a uh, really high chance that it's going to get reprinted. And if you compare, I would compare Dante as kind of like the Mermaid Abyss Megalo. Uh, when Abyss Megalo first came out, it was around eighty dollars for the secret rare, and then it was Mermaids were really dominant for a while. And then once um, Megalo got reprinted as like a what was it like a battle pack rare, um, the price of that just dropped completely. And if the price of Megalo dropped even further once new archetypes came out and started to take over the meta. So I do feel like Dante is kind of like that, like a, this Megalo. It's really expensive right now, especially because you need three copies in your deck. And um, 
because it's just a archetype specific card, it's not something like an Exeter Knight where you can splash in pretty much any deck. Um, once Burning Abyss kind of dies out of the meta, the value of it will drop quite a bit. And say Exeter Knight, the value won't drop as much. So in my opinion, if you have a bunch of Dantes, you can play with it now, the value might go up a bit more once it reaches its peak in the meta. But once the new archetypes come out like Quilloth and stuff, and once the meta starts to change, I do feel like Dante is going to drop in price by a lot. So I do recommend that you sell your copy like sometime in the near future before you start to lose out on the money. And if you really like Burning Abyss, you could just sell your Dante now and pick it up later once it's dropped in price. So that's about it for this video. Comment down below what you think about the Burning Abyss archetype, how you play it, what you think about Dante. And thanks for watching guys, subscribe because I post videos every week, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.